for now. Let's uh, pick us out a fly. Man, I've got to get out of the current. There's no way that I can retrieve this fast enough, like strip my line fast enough to uh, kind of work this fly. But what about them fly casting skills, y'all? I'm moving on up. Got him. Yeah, baby. Got him. Believe it or not, third fish on the fly, y'all. Oh, man, oh, man. It's my first keeper speckled trout. <laughs> Get in the net. We got to measure this one just to make sure it is a keeper, though. 16 and a quarter inches long. First keeper on the fly. Speckled trout. Oh, wow. That was a good hook set, too. There we go. Whoa. All right. And this is the, the pattern. It looks like a shrimp is what I'm thinking. Very slow sinking fly. Man, that feels so good. because of all the rains we've been getting lately. It's almost three days in a row that I haven't been able to come out here. I just got tired of it. Looked at the forecast and well, they were saying that 80% chance of rain and I looked at radar, three different weather apps, all said three different things. So I was just like, well, let's just go out there. I really rely on two of them and it was a 50-50 split. So I'm like, okay. Uh, either we're going to get rained on or we're not. And as it seems right now, the radar app that I follow, it kind of shows that we're not going to get rained on. But them clouds are darkening over there. That doesn't, does not look good. There's a thump. Little red, I bet. And that's what it is, little red. Hey, buddy, welcome to the show. Let's get you off and we'll send you on your way. It's been a long time since we've caught anything. I barely even set the hook, too. Didn't pierce the skin or anything, just holding on because of how sharp that hook point is right there at the small drain. I'm reluctant to go all the way towards the back of the the marsh system that I'm fishing. I don't want to go to the back lake. It's about two miles to get back there and uh, if if the rains come, well, we're probably going to get wet anyways, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, so let's get this one ready. I see him. Right there, okay. Got you, buddy. Oh gosh, please. I was gonna say, please do not run with my lure because we are short on fishing line. No, that's a keeper. Definitely a good sign. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you snagged on the trolling motor or what, bro? Oh, goodness gracious, he's under under the boat. 
Oh my gosh, get over here. Fella. Oh, that is a gorgeous, big old brute red. No! <laughs> get back over here. Look at this. Bruiser of a red, y'all. That. My gosh, there's another one right there. It feels so good to come out here and accomplish something. And that is to catch a nice big old fat boy. Love this marsh. It's been a while since I've been able to pull something this gorgeous from it. That is a good red right there. Hurry up. Hold on, hold on fella. We're gonna get this lure out of ya. Here we go, get you in the water. Make sure you catch that breath. Don't need you to go belly up, buddy. Always wanna keep them moving forward. Don't ever do the forward backward motion. They're not used to swimming backwards. Gill, uh, the uh, water going across their gills in a backward motion, it's better than nothing, but if you can, at all possible, just keep them going forward. Get that water going through their mouth and then across their gills. Okay, you ready, son? All right, here we go. Upright you. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. Oh, wow. So, he was fishing. I'm fishing. Um, I'm fishing. He was, I guess you can consider it fishing for some bait, but he was hunting right alongside the grass line, and because he was just high enough, he was pushing that wake in. If you're attentive, you'd be able to see what's going on, make that cast, and then just be able to thoroughly understand truly what it is that you're seeing on the water, and you'll be able to make them catches just like that right there. Oh, wow. That dude just hit. I didn't even suspect there would be a fish right there. Ugh. Is that a speck? No, that's a redfish. Where is he? No, 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 no. Get over, get over here, dude. There we go. This whole grass line has been pretty active and uh, I just thought that I made an errand cast and trying to hurry up and retrieve this darn thing. There we go. I could not see that little fella right here swimming in the middle. He chased it down and nice. That's got to be our flounder. Please, please, please be our flounder. That is a big one if it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that completes our Texas slam, y'all. Oh, yes. You can just feel and tell whenever they thump it what they're going to be almost like most of the time you can this guy is a big old girl this guy is a big old girl it's a big old flounder that is for sure that is a magnificent fish right there definitely a really good healthy one all right we'll see you later whoa we'll see you later just feels so good whenever you can come out here and just put a game plan together. Last minute notice, lots of rains in the forecast. Tried to come out during a small three hour window, which ended up being, I don't know how long have we been out here. We launched at 1130, it's now 322, so you do the math. It ended up being a little bit longer than what I was anticipating. And we just got 
a really good flounder right there. All three of the uh, like most popular Texas game fish for inshore coastal like style fishing. That is a Texas slam for us, y'all. Okay, we got quite a bit of moving water, but that's just because of the wind. You can see the ripple right here at the apex of this bend. A really good spot to try and hook into a uh, apex predator like a flounder. You can tell that they've already started their migration out towards the Gulf. Uh, the, the high numbers that are being caught right now shown on social media. It won't be too long before the run is in full swing. But right now, some of the big girls, as we caught one today, we caught one on our last trip out. The big girls are moving. They are definitely leaving the marsh. They're making their way towards the bayous, hiding in the drains, waiting for low tide to flush out the bait. And they're making their way out. It's because these flounder are really starting to light up. Ronell just got one as well uh, earlier. He's been posted up at a really good intersection and that's basically where I'm working my way towards but just hitting all the hot spots on my way out so let's get over there. All right. That's gonna do it y'all. We've already made our way back out towards the mouth of the marsh system and it was a great day. We did make it happen during the small window of opportunity that we had, which blossomed into just a spectacular time out here on the water, a lot of time. So the window turned into a darn doorway. So <laughs> I'm really loving it. Uh, fall time fishing, there was just a blow up right in front of us. So just hang tight really quick. Let's see if we can get this to bite, whatever it was. Just saw the blow up. I had to guess it's going to be a small little rat red. It wasn't violent or very big at all. Ah. Yeah, okay, so back to what we were saying, just a, a great day and fall time fishing, it's the absolute best. So I am going to pretty much just make my way back to the ramp. If you're interested in the gear that I was using, the rod, the reel, the lure, um, this is the only setup that I brought out here. Go down into my video description below and you can check out all these items. They're gonna be linked down there. It'll take you to the website where you can view them. If you make a purchase, I will earn a small tiny commission on some of the stuff. Not everything, but uh, every little bit helps. So I definitely thank you for the support if you do make the purchase. For those of you that enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.